In this video, we'll be covering how to use nSOLID to generate a CPU profile for your Node.js application. We will also walk through the basics of examining the visualization of this data presented in the nSOLID console. So what is a CPU profile? A CPU profile is a way to measure where your application is using the CPU. This is important with Node.js applications because excessive CPU usage can lead to performance problems. CPU profiles allow us to understand where our application's hotspots are and give us an idea of where we need to start when optimizing our application. nSolid allows us to generate and visualize CPU profiles without needing to shut down or restart our application. This allows us to capture and analyze this information from production instances of your application, giving you insight into your application's performance under a production load. nSolid also lets us generate a CPU profile even if the event loop is completely blocked by long-running synchronous code. nSolid provides two ways to generate a CPU profile. One way is by using thresholds. The second way is to manually initiate a CPU profile through the process details screen. Thresholds allow us to configure nSolid to automatically capture a CPU profile or memory snapshot based on the resource usage of a process. When the configured threshold is exceeded for the specified duration, nSolid will start capturing the CPU profile and save it for us to examine later. Let's walk through defining a threshold. To enable a threshold for an application, we click on the Threshold Settings link in the upper right corner of the console. We can enable thresholds based on CPU or heap usage. We can choose the value where the threshold is triggered as well as how long the process should be above that value to trigger the threshold. We also can configure how long should we back off for once that threshold is triggered again. Now let's walk through manually generating a CPU profile. Using the nSolid console, we can see each of the instances of our application running in solid. We notice that one of the processes is using more CPU than the others. We can expand the screen to see the details of the process. Here, not only can we create a new CPU profile, but also see the list of previously generated CPU profiles. To start a new CPU profile, we click the New Profile link. We can now select how long we would like to capture the CPU data for, as well as the visualization style we prefer to see the results in. It is important to note that generating a CPU profile does impact the performance of your application, but only for the duration of the data capture period. After the profiling has completed, nSolid will analyze the results and provide a visualization for us directly in the nSolid console. Let's walk through what information it provides. nSolid visualizes CPU profiles as a percentage of CPU time. Each box represents a function that was executed. The boxes are then stacked to match the function stack that was called when your application was running. The wider a function's box is, the more CPU time was spent executing that code compared to other functions. Because these visualizations are the total CPU time spent, they alone don't tell the whole story of your application's CPU usage. nSolid also shows the total percentage of CPU usage broken down by the main components of the node process in the profile timeline. When looking to understand your application's CPU usage, it's the combination of both of these visualizations that help to tell the whole story. CPU usage probably isn't the root cause of your issue if the profile timeline indicates your application is idle 95% of the time. To understand where your application is using CPU, the main visualizations are interactive. We can hover over the function boxes to see the function names, as well as being able to select a function box to see the stack trace that function is a part of, along with the file name and line number where it can be found. This makes it easy for your developers to know where to start when looking to optimize your application's code. So far, we have been using the flame graph to visualize the CPU profile. nSolid also supports the sunburst and tree map visualizations. All three show the same profile data, just in different ways. The choice in which one to use is really a personal preference based on how you prefer to visualize this data. 
The flame graph shows the function stacks next to each other. The higher the stack, the more functions were part of that stack. Wider stacks mean more CPU time was spent in that stack. When looking for functions that are using high CPU, we are looking for the widest functions that are the highest up in the stack. This is the sunburst view. It's very similar to the flame graph, except it is visualized as wrapped around a circle. We look for the same pattern as the flame graph to identify the functions consuming the most CPU. This is the tree map view. You can think of it as viewing each function stack from above instead of viewing each function stack from the side, like the flame graph and sunburst views. This visualization uses a series of squares stacked inside each other. The larger the area of the squares, the more CPU time that function used. The outside squares represents the bottom of the stack, and the innermost squares represent the top of the stack. This concludes the video on using nSolid to generate CPU profiles for your application. You can learn more about nSolid by going to our website at nodesource.com. Thank you for watching.